to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video will focus on the determination of price. In a market economy, the general level of prices is determined through the interaction of the market forces of supply and demand. The general price level will be around the market equilibrium price. So let's take a look at what market equilibrium price is. Market equilibrium is the point at which the demand and supply curves cross. At this point, the quantity demanded exactly matches the quantity supplied, and it can be said that the market clears as all of the products would be sold. The market will always trend towards equilibrium for reasons we're going to look at now. If a product is priced above equilibrium, like in this example at P1, then there will be a greater quantity of that product supplied than is demanded. This will mean suppliers will have leftover stock. The traditional thing to do is to put that stock on sale to clear it, hence moving it back towards equilibrium price. On the other hand, if the price is set below equilibrium, like in this example, there will be a greater quantity demanded than what is supplied. With stock running out and unable to be replaced, suppliers will raise prices and a rationing effect will occur where we will move back towards equilibrium. While ultimately producers decide what they're going to produce, consumer sovereignty is the idea that through the choices consumers make about what to buy, they influence what producers will make. Products that are facing a situation of oversupply like we've just looked at, mean that consumers are only willing to buy them at a lower price. This tells producers to move resources elsewhere. Products with an undersupply signal to producers that more resources are required in this area. It's important to remember that market equilibrium sets the general level of prices and not the price. You are not required to sell your goods at the market price. There are many reasons why different brands within the same market might have slightly different prices. That brings us to the end of this video looking at the determination of price. In the next video, we'll be analysing the interaction of demand and supply and their effect on market equilibrium price and quantity. In the meantime, why not try the free economics revision resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise the subject. Until next time, it's bye for now.